President Obama says the change he promised during the campaign is not coming fast enough. In his first State of the Union address, the president tried reaching out to Americans who've made clear their frustration with Washington. Mr. Obama's address focused on the economy and ways to create jobs. I'm proposing that we take $30 billion of the money Wall Street banks have repaid and use it to help community banks give small businesses the credit they need to stay afloat. I'm also proposing a new small business tax credit, one that will go to over one million small businesses who hire new workers or raise wages. And for more analysis on last night's State of the Union, we're joined now by Katrina Vanden Heuvel, editor of The Nation. Good morning. Thank you, Michelle. Um, we just heard President Obama's plans, his specific plans for creating jobs. How effective do you think they'll be? Well, he had to tonight focus laser-like on the problem of joblessness in this country. It's a crisis. What struck me about this speech, above all, was the sense of optimism and a sense of the resilience of the American spirit and the decency and dignity of people. He spoke at one point about how he's never been more optimistic about the American future at a time when so many Americans are angry about Wall Street, about big business. But I thought he did a, a good job in bringing attention to the need to create jobs at this time of economic pain and a good job in beginning to side with working people and the middle class. Not against Wall Street, but suggesting that we need to re-regulate a Wall Street so as to avert a future crisis which has left so many millions without homes, without jobs. At times he had a more aggressive tone, um, reminding the Republicans, this is up to you as well. You, I have an open door. Come share your ideas yeah. if you think you can do this better. Um, do you think that he was able and will be able to bring both sides of the aisle together to accomplish the common goals? I don't. I think after a year of essentially being knifed by the Republicans on every basic essential economic or other domestic program, President Obama, I think tonight for strategic reasons and with a great sense of self-deprecating humor, which I found was very important. He's not known for that. There was a little bit of John F. Kennedy in his speech making tonight. He's reaching out to them, but doing so with a little tartness, a little like, hey, come join me if you got a better plan. So it wasn't calling them out, but it was calling them in and holding them to a promise which they may not be able to meet. Something we've been so focused on over the last um, six months, a year, has been health care reform, yes. and yet that fell second to jobs tonight. Um, President Obama said, we are so close. Let's make this happen. Yeah. Well, for good reason, health care came second because, you know, it's a poll-driven White House. These are poll-driven speeches. And the White House knows that jobs in the economy are first and foremost. What he did fairly well tonight, which he should have done all along, is one, admit that he hasn't explained health care as well as he could and explain it in the context of economic security, which it is about. Uh, but he didn't give specifics. He did say stand, fight, deliver. Stand with me. I'm not going to walk out on Americans. And he gave their human, compelling stories. But we didn't get enough specifics, I think, tonight to know where that heads. Um, very quickly, we have just a couple seconds left. 83% um, of uh, the people who watched the speech approve of the president's proposals that he made in the speech tonight. Very large numbers, I would say. Yeah, these things dissipate over time. But I think he's a master. You know, he's a Houdini. He pulls it out. We'll see where it heads. But it was a masterful speech. Okay, Katrina Vanden Heuvel, thank you so much for being with us.